2018 Commonwealth Games, I think is still my favourite competition of my career. Um, you know, to jump a PB in front of Australian crowd, in front of family, um, to win the gold. I mean, you can't really get much better than that. Um, I think going into that that comp, I, I had I had a decent kind of prep period, um, kind of jumped 20 years and 24s, um, but I, I'd had a really good qualifying. Um, I think I missed one bar, but jumped really well. I remember Alex actually walking from the warm-up track to the to the main stadium for the final. He he literally just said, you know, back, back yourself. You know, you're you're meant to be here. You're meant to be. You're part of them. You're world class. Just back yourself. Believe in yourself, and and go out there and have some fun. Look, when I was younger, I was definitely nervous. Um, I went to my first world champs when I was 19 in Moscow. I cleared one height, and that was it. That was a huge learning experience for me, um, and I think. From then to where I am now, I've, I guess all the experiences have kind of led to being comfortable in that situation. Um, Commonwealth Games in front of a packed crowd of Aussies who are cheering you on. Um, and I, I think I, I guess, delivered. Um, didn't crumble and I, I almost embraced it. And I guess from 2018 onwards, it's, it's been quite easy. Um, you know, I still get nervous. Um, Tokyo, I. You know, first first heights are always kind of, oh, I don't want to miss my first jump of the comp sort of thing. But um, you know, you, you, I quickly got get over those little first nerves and, and quite get quite comfortable in, in that environment. Tokyo, um, mixed emotions. I jumped very well. Um, everyone else did too, really. <laughs> um, you know, I I'm I'm very proud of that that performance. Um, as I said before, a third attempt clearance into a first attempt clearance um, kind of kept me, I guess, in it. Um, but look, I, overall, I'm, I'm very happy with coming fifth. Would have medaled at all but two, I think, Olympics in history. Um, so it's just evident of how, how good the field was. Um, I guess gold was only two centimetres higher than me. For me to, I guess, keep my sanity um, for only going for one one centimeters. Um, look, I, it's it's you always have a goal, right? And, and that's kind of in the back of my head. What's what's my goal? And and that's kind of what I always kind of lean on. Um, and I guess for me, if I'm consistent in the in the 30s, in the early 30s to mid 30s, when when I come to to Paris or a major championship, I know it's kind of in the back pocket that I know I can do this. And I very much know that I'm capable. Um, things are always they're tracking quite well. A um, couple hiccups on the way, but um, we're still kind of on track. So, look, that's that's the main driving force. You know, you you make goals when you're younger. Um, you reassess each year, but that Olympic gold has has remained um, over the years, and that's that's the big one in Paris.